Welcome, how are you? This is Staff TV and this is Natasha Asino. It's your baby and highlights. I know you absolutely have been waiting to get this up and running. I hope you have your green tea, your coffee or water as you so please. For this week, we have a lot to talk about. So like you know, my lovely anchors here, LR, the one in pink. What's, what's the idea behind the whole pinky thingy? <laughs> Bright yeah, yeah, it's a bright week yeah. already. And the lovely Ashley. We're doing the blank gang thing today. Yeah. Without taking much time, we'll just go straight on to our very first highlight of the day. White Money as head of house. Everybody has been praying White Money will oh, just win this thing, win this thing. <laughs> and finally, he's won it. And the good thing is, like really close to the finale, you're yes. getting to win it and all that. So that, that makes sense, yeah? Yes, yes. What do we have to say about his reign? How did it go? Any dramas? There was one or two Shabba. <laughs> For right money to be head of house, yeah. Onset of this whole 2021 20, mm. and they finally became the head of house, yeah. And his acting girlfriend became the <laughs> acting head of girlfriend. House. And I really love to see those two together. So, because he was the head of house and she the deputy, they were always together. So, I saw a lot of white money and queen moments. His reign was super. I know most of the housemates like white money. Absolutely, he yeah. Has his, he has a way of showing authority and respect at the same time. So mm -hmm. everybody um, went well with him. It's, everything went well. They respected him. And it was really cool. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think his reign was really good. The fact that yeah, most of the housemates are cool with him. Yeah. So nobody kind of disturbed him. Um, and I think Pera is over whatever was really happened. Here. Yeah, so I think they're really he, cool now. It wasn't even difficult yeah. to him. And you know, he, at the end of towards the end of his reign, because it's not yet over, but towards mm. the end of his reign, he decided to reward oh, people that um, made his reign made, really yeah, easy. Yes, and Pera was like the first name he called. So that will tell you how well Pere behaved as White Money was head of house mm -hmm. and every other person. So it was it was really good. I, I, I was happy for him that finally yeah. he gets it. Yeah, that. and it's actually really cool to see that, you know, as a leader, you don't necessarily have to be all military. Yeah. Yeah. You can really be chill and cool and just yeah. really have your way. Yeah. Yeah. At the end of the day, still no permanent enemies. Who would have yeah. thought yeah. that yeah. and White exactly. Money, yeah. you know, exactly. but it's all well and good. Yeah. So very well fast forwarding we have angel's behavior with the housemates this one <laughs> social media was on fire but the thing is i wonder why we didn't put up the same energy on at, um, angel as we did with boma and tega i know they're not the same degree but this particular one i don't know if you saw that clip Queen and White Money are in the dressing room. Yeah. She's there dressing, and all of a sudden, intentionally, she exposes her genitals. Yeah. <laughs> I understand that you are free spirited, but I'm wondering where is the line drawn between you being free spirited and right downright disrespectful to other people's privacy? Yeah. Like, I think that was really crazy, though. Yeah, I think that was too much. I, like, I don't know why she just did that. I don't know why that idea popped into her head and she raised up and thought, look, it's so I'm so sick for it. I don't know what's wrong what with that girl, but I feel like she plays too much. I don't know. Serious, I don't know the adjective to use in describing Angel, but I think that was too much. It was really what money had to even look away. Like, yeah. what's going on here? It's her body. She can do whatever she wants with her body. But not in front of all the people intentionally. I like, understand that. In this case, you also have to respect the people around you. Absolutely. But if she chooses to flash her, like I said, it's, it's her body. Right? Yeah. Well, <laughs> I really was thinking that with the whole craze it had on social media, everybody would have been like, Angel, come back home. Come back. We don't need you there anymore, but... Yeah, fortunately, she's still there. She already gained, like, really supportive fans. Yeah. And... 
people didn't really see it as anything. You know, you know how we hold marriage. I think that's what just affected Tega. Okay. Roma. Tega was married, so people were not taking it. In Angel's case, and everyone is convinced. We don't really know, but everyone is convinced that Angel hasn't really slept with anybody. Yeah. So okay. they're just like, oh, what she's doing is showing. What yeah. she's doing is kissing. It's not. She has not gone that far. She's just 21. She's young, living wild and free and all that. So people are giving her a pass. And it's working for her. I mean, this is week eight and she's still mm. in the house. So. Okay, I think it's all well and good. I mean, if you're doing nudity, do your nudity. But please respect people's privacy. <laughs> That's my point. <laughs> all right, so this very one biggest assignment, guys. Yeah. I knew that was going to be tough on Saga. This particular one, we remember where Biggie calls Licorice yeah. and Saga, you know, into the diary room and he's talking to them and he's like, you know, um, be, be keep away from your love partners, you know, yeah. just add some drama and all that. And, you know, he had rewards attached to it. We knew, yeah. or maybe I knew, Saga. I Saga was going to fail woefully, but he failed earlier than I thought he would. He like, could not even wait till the next day. Yes. Oh my God. And the apple gives um, Nini the complete details. <laughs> ah. the same way Big Brother told him. You know, say, Nini, you know, what can I do without talking Big to you? Oh, oh, like, oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That was the hype for me. Yes. I am like, I don't know what's up with you, bro, but whatever Nini is cooking, let's know what the recipe is like. Because, man, that was not cool at all. Yeah. And it made me kind of respect Nicole more because obviously oh. the lady is focused. Yes. Like, we know she's really, really crazy about Imano, yeah. but she pulled it. Like, she was, at some point, I was like, is this real? Maybe 90 like, million is 90 million. million. Yeah. <laughs> like, she really. The boy was looking vulnerable at some point, he was frustrated, yeah. and she did not blame him. I pitied yeah. him for a bit. He was like, What well, can you just tell me what I did? I just I just so want I to know what I did. She to sleep somewhere yeah. just so that she, she is sleep. such a fantastic She's, actress. Uh, yeah, fantastic yeah, actress. At the end of the day, whatever it is, um, that Nini has cooked, we, we really want to know what that is. Because <laughs> it should be marketed. Absolutely. Okay, so guys. Nini and Cross dispute yeah. this time around. That I think that wasn't even called for. The whole it would have just been a simple understanding. I'm cleaning the bathroom, please. I don't want anybody here at this point in time. Just stay till I'm done. Yeah. But no, Cross, I want to take a shower right now, right yeah, here. Yeah. You know, and then he goes, Are you stupid? And Nini just Jesus. goes off. Yes. Goes off big yes. time. And I'm like I'm thinking at the end of the day, probably because she put him up, like mm -hmm. re replaced yeah, him with her. Yeah, yeah. Maybe that was the underline because yeah, I really don't know. know. It's, the show is coming to an end. So now, yeah. tired, like Sasuke said, they are tired of being in that house. They are tired of that same routine. They are tired oh, okay. Of, you know, at some point, it's not messing with your mm -hmm. mind. So everybody's um, on the edge. Like everybody's, everybody's emotions all over the place. So... Nini was trying to control her own. Cross obviously had bottled up emotions for... Yeah. You know, but at this point in time, anybody can... I mean, they are just few in the house. Mm -hmm. Who else was she supposed to pick? Is it yeah. Saga or who? Mm -hmm. So I think that also irritated him and he acted up. And I also think she did not start washing the bathroom early. On time, yeah. yeah. So he was losing his patience, was losing his patience. But the Are You Stupid was uncalled for. Yeah. And that's what now provoked Nini. Yeah. And I think she's probably used to being... Because you know she has a small stature. I don't yeah. really know her age, but okay. she looks like she's really young. So I'm sure she's used to people trying to, you know... You know, put her down yes. and lord it over her. Exactly. And so as soon as he said that... It triggered was, her yes, straight up. Just and she blew out And she these. really, she finished him. I think she yeah. called him pea-sized yeah, that, yeah, that everyone knows in this oh house that you're the dumbest. Oh, that was a lot. That, yeah, you're the... And that is when... Um, oh, my goodness. When I was calling my attention, like when I was talking about to my friends that... It's actually true. He struggles to read and... Oh, really? Like, I've not yes. noticed yeah. that, though. He struggles though. with comprehension, like, when you mm -hmm. give him... When they give, yeah, them, when a they give them a task to read and understand, he struggles to memorize and oh. all that. So, I'm sure they've talked about it amongst themselves. That's why I should say everyone in the house knows that you're the dumbest. So That, that hurt, though. Bad. That hurt. Yeah, I think that, that hurt Cross. Yeah. yeah, he cried a lot. But, but yeah. I'm, I, I'm... I was proud of Cross that he actually went back to apologize. I didn't see that coming. I don't see that behavior I, 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 coming. I, I think 
Cross is a really chilled yeah. person yes. in that yeah. sense. Yes, mm-hmm. he's a really chilled person. And she was not the one, and she started annoying me when she was now proving difficult. Yes, know, yes. When he was up, I'm like, come on, <laughs> we know sorry will not just erase mm-hmm. the heart and all yeah. that, but it's a step towards just tell him you've heard and also yeah. say you're sorry because you also said some hurtful yeah, things. So yeah, absolutely. Say, I don't know whether she eventually, but at first she was proving difficult. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, I think she did eventually come around, you mm-hmm. know, after a few sessions here and there. Mm-hmm. This next one is the one that got everybody really talking saga being sagastic mm-hmm. this one it's from it's from you know um talking under the sheets whispering it's from um not being audible enough it's from bb and big brother you know sension and Aaron ask you to do something you just tell me all of it it's from not even be apo- being apologetic about what you have done it's about talking it is so like much. Like Sasha said, he's, yeah. he's carrying the strike. The With pride. pride. With pride. Because I did it for my woman. Yeah. Yes. Like, hey. And the girl gives a mark a lot. Is that what they call our conditional law? Because it doesn't make doesn't any sense. At this point in time, I don't know if it's just outright dumb. Maybe. I really don't know what it is. I, I, I'm annoying. If I was Nina, I'd be angry. She, she kept, Seriously. you know, she kept yeah. shading him. Like yeah. she said, other people are getting dinner dates and getting yeah, strife and yeah, punishment. punishment. Yeah. Then he said something about why a couple and this and she said mm. we're not a couple. Yeah. And then she keeps shady, she keeps trying to remind yeah. him that yeah. it's not that serious. Yeah. We've yeah. probably yeah. made yeah. out or something, yeah. but it's not that serious. But the guy is not getting the memo at all. And he has he has even said if if you were not on the show, I would have opted out, I would have exited. There's a lot of bullshit, seriously. That even is a victim, he will go for voluntary. <laughs> The problem? I mean, he is a love. He is in love. Bro he is he in love. Issues. Like we always talk of any little thing when a, a girl is acting up and you find out that maybe she had an absentee dad. You say the child, the lady has daddy issues. He probably because he has talked about how his dad doesn't really love him. How his dad oh yeah, that's never true though. Never amount to anything. How his dad is this, his dad is that. So I don't know whether that emotional childhood emotional trauma. Is affecting how he loves someone. Yeah, or maybe yeah. maybe if you show him some type of affection, he just yes. like really draws close exactly. to you or something. Exactly. So I don't know. He, he needs help. At the end of the day, whatever it is, I hope he's able to work on it yeah. because um, ninety million is not, or probably he has more than ninety million mm-hmm. to work with. <laughs> so he doesn't yeah. mind. But the 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 sad thing for me would be. When they leave the house, and maybe it doesn't continue, yeah. it will. I think it will really hurt him, though. Yeah, it will, but yeah. it will. It will continue. It's yeah. obvious yeah. that yeah. Nini doesn't want anything that yeah. serious. Whew. Well, at the end of the day, lover boy, I just hope you learn to do better. I don't even think he would learn to do better because if he could do this with Big Brother straight up, yes. I don't know who else can and tell him anything. Exactly. All right, guys. So as you know, this is Stab TV. You already know how we do it. You want to subscribe on this new YouTube channel. You want to follow us on all social media platforms at Taf TV underscore NG. All right. Follow us, like, share, comment. We want to know what you think. We want to know that you love us in as much as we love you. So remember at Taf TV. And this very one now, Biggie punishes Saga. He deserved it all. He garden. You have to clean the garden. You have to get. You get your strike. Mm-hmm. He now has two strikes already. Yes, yes. And then the other one where he had to play Paris tape real time for Paris to see. I feel like that was so harsh. Yeah, it was. Was it was harsh. It was so Biggie's secret. So it was yeah. time for Biggie to tell him. Like, oh, yeah. And you know, just cause some tension in the house and all that. So that was necessary. Yeah. But where did Biggie get all that debt from? So that was a lot. Oh they had to intentionally mess up that place. Yes. He had to do some real time yes, cleaning yes, straight yes, up because yes, that. that that was that was so horrible. And then at the end of the day, um, no matter how much punishment you give to Saga, um, I don't no, think no, it's going. <laughs> He has, he has fetched his tent. He's like, I'm not going anywhere. It's like, no leave, no transfer. I'm here, Biggie. Whatever you want to do, do to me, but I'm here. I've seen my 90 million. I've seen her, so, so I'm done. But either ways, I don't, I don't even know how Saga fans cope right now. I don't know. 
because it, it is so demoralizing. Yes, I know I've seen someone <laughs> say she likes the way Saga loves Nini and she's hoping that a guy will love her like that. Where he can be vulnerable, he can be this, he can be that. I'm like, I think, um, please still have a mind of your own. This is this. Is there is a difference. I think there's a difference between healthily loving someone yes. and being obsessively, yes. obsessively yes. loving someone. Yes. A guy comes close to Nini, you are mad, you are angry. If Nini is not with you, it's a problem. Yes. Someone annoys Nini, be telling her sorry. Yes. I don't do. I'm not angry with you. I'm not going to Why are you begging me? I'm the house. Oh it's my god. It's so like he might even stop talking to a guy if you come around Nini yeah, too yeah. much. Yes. This very one, Para Vendetta. We all know that we've had Para say stuff like, I'm going to really mess Saga up. I'm going to do something to this guy for what he's done. I think that Para got really hurt. Because yes, Para seems to be someone who, when he takes you to his heart as my person, he's loyal to you yeah, to the end. Yeah. Yeah. Especially for guys, I don't know about yeah. ladies. Yeah. <laughs> but for his guys, Cross, Boma, he has never really bad mouth at any yeah. one of them. Yeah. But this yeah. one Saga did to him, he's like, I'm going to do stuff back to you. Yeah. I'm trying to think, what do you think Para would do? I'm thinking he'll try to mess up their ship. Maybe do something, say something. I wish he will. I mm -hmm. wish he will. But I don't know. Maybe a, their next party he should go after Nini. He should <laughs> all over Nini. Like he should just do something. Just break that ship. Yeah. Like it completely. But I just hope he doesn't do anything. Because he also has a strike, right? Oh, yeah. yes. He has yeah. one or two. Okay. So I hope he doesn't do anything that would, you know. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Make him get disqualified and all that. But I don't know. I don't know what he's going to do. But I hope he does something to their relationship. To Nini and Yeah. Hello, what do you think? What do you think he's going to do? I think that um, he's trying to bottle it up God, mm. because he really got to him. But I feel like he's going to do it after they the come out of the house. Right. Yeah. Um, oh. Reunions are always something to look out for. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, guys. So this time around, white money sage advice this particular one i'm wondering you know it was a whole lot of rockers online because people were asking is he just doing i do know like you're talking too much or being like you know too much what really is your point or is it because the bump and grind is not with you but we cross <laughs> you know what i mean so at the end of the day we saw the clip where he was speaking with queen you know with the way you're conducting yourself in the house and then you've told me of your ambitions mm -hmm. how you want to hold a political office and you have an NGO, you have people looking up to you you know at the end of the day this might really not work out well for you mm -hmm. you know and him saying him as a guy he he's he can be able to show his genitals and he might not really have a backlash mm -hmm. but her as a lady nigerians might just bring out a clip and say you know yeah. so do we think it was a friendly advice or he was just trying to save his territory with Queen? You know? For me, I feel it was a friendly advice. Uh, maybe. It was a friendly advice, yes, but it still had a second motive, motive attached yeah, to it. Yeah. I don't want to be seen um, Cross and Queen do all of that. Cross getting all the action. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but that's a good advice because what he said is really true. Yeah. If you have um, plans of being in the political office, space, yes. uh, space in future, you should not do all of that. That's too much. They can bring out your picture, your video, and say, ah, you know, you're doing this. We don't want it to be. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. So that that's a good advice. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think it was a little bit of everything. Okay. First of all, to an extent, why money talks too much. And... I even expect him to talk more than he does because of his experience. Oh, like, yeah, true. A typical Igbo man that's gone through his experience would talk your ears out. out. So he's even still, but well, yeah, he talks a little too much. Then I think he has started to really like Queen. So yeah. Because the, there has started to be yeah. all this attraction thing, you yeah. know, but with them being in the head of house yeah. and all. Yeah, yeah. so. There was a little bit of jealousy there, but everything he said to her was valid. Unfortunately, but valid because, first of all, the internet doesn't forget. Yeah. Yeah, the internet. If you want to be in the entertainment industry, you can do and undo. And, you know, even if people will talk, you're showing too much, or they'll get over it. You're the entertainment industry. But when you now cross over to politics, they start digging up things, they start, you know, talking mm -hmm. about your past and all that. And unfortunately, the world we live in now, or the Africa we are still living in now, Guy, men get away with things more than women. So what he said 
it's kind of it's unfortunate, it's sad, very it's unfortunate. Wrong, but it's the truth mm-hmm. to an extent. Yeah. It's completely wrong, but it's the truth. Mm-hmm. Like a guy would do something and people are like, uh-huh. mm-hmm. but a lady would do it and you know she's yeah. she's loose, she's not home, well trained, she's this, she's that. So everything he said was valid. I think I think I think for me, what's good for the goose is good for the for the gander, yeah. you know. Um if you're going to say this for this person because he's a man, say this for this person because she's a lady. For me, I the other part, it was a beautiful advice, you know, at the end of the day. But I also think it's a game. So if by adventure someone is to run for political office, what I did was in the contest of gaming. So I don't I don't think that, that would have been like so dramatic for her because that can be a legit excuse. It was a game. Mm-hmm. I was attracted to this person and we did it on TV and it's what it is, you know. But the part where he had to talk about you know, um, as a man, I can be able to show my genitals. I think that that's dicey because even us Nigerians, we already know, and all over the world, every, ladies are clamoring. What is good for the man? Is If you're going to treat this man this way, treat me this way yeah. as well. So at the end of the day, I think if people should just stop, you know, putting this whole thing on women, yes. you know, we have to... You have to because you're a woman. You have to. You have. To, you have to conduct yourself yeah, in a particular way. Yeah. We should also give the same energy yeah, to men. Exactly. Don't show your genitals. Don't go crazy. In fact, don't get drunk. Don't do all of those things yeah. because right now yeah. I understand that you know he was speaking to Queen like you're my friend, you're my buddy, and all that. But at the same time, maybe you should also talk to Cross. Yeah. Exactly. At the same time, maybe you should talk to Angel. At the yeah. same time, you should also talk to the others. Yeah. You know that are doing stuff like that because it's a two-way thing. Yes. We put too much pressure on women. Not like I'm clamoring for that. It's unfortunate, like you said, in this day and time, that's where we are at. Yeah. But I think we should be progressive about these things. Exactly. You know, at the end of the day, so guys, but you know what you want to be. You know what you want to do. You know what is needed. So please. Um, for the oil industry or whatever is needed of you, you want to make sure that you do accordingly. Yeah. That's just my advice at the end of today. Okay, so on to the very next one. We have cross and angel ship. Is this a ship or a boat or a car? I don't know. I mean, it's a cruise, eh? Well, it looks like angel is beginning to catch feelings. I don't know. What do you think? I think so too, like, she likes to be around him. Yeah, they look good together. Yeah, they look good. Oh, yeah. yeah. It will be too much fire during their relationship. Yeah. So yeah. much fire. Yeah. Outside the house, everything will just, every time they're giving it to each other hot hot, <laughs> hot hot. Who is that guy? Who is that girl? Why are you so much, crazy? so Who? much. It's going to be crazy. But yeah. yeah, I think Angel is big. But I think Cross is a soft team. Because yeah? I think Cross is a soft yeah. team. Like he's a lover boy at heart? Yes, yes. 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 Especially if the girl gets him, yes. but he's also a flirt. Because I saw a clip where he was telling Queen, um, Angel is just my baby, but you, I can always you to, need to see you outside. Like, what's that? Angel is your baby, <laughs> Queen is your what? Like, <laughs> so I think he's just a flirt. I think Cross is the kind of person that would eventually tell Angel what he told, said to Queen. He always does stuff like that. Yeah, though. I feel like he's that kind of person that will say, see what I said to Queen. Okay. I mean, I just, just look at her body. He seems, I, I feel like two of them just, especially when they are no longer cameras, mm. they really allow themselves, they will bring out the best version of themselves, themselves and have real fun. I don't know if it's going to be serious enough to get married or something, well, something but just, you know, as young people, they, they will really have fun together. Yeah, yeah I know what you think about it. Yeah, I feel like the good match, good combo, couple goals that will really slate well. <laughs> And I also feel that Angel is beginning to like Cross because I saw a video this morning. Cross was um, lying down outside and she cooked and she's like, Cross, and he opened his eyes. She's like, I've been eating, take your food, and she walked away. Yeah. And not been talking for, for a while. So for you to do that, that means you like this guy, yeah, but yeah. you know, I don't even show it anymore. So oh, or is she even is probably afraid of Cross? Like, yeah. To, yeah. is he because you know there was a time he also went back to queen and they all yeah. you know all oh, romped up yeah. after that time we saw angel being a bit distant yeah. from him yeah. so we still don't know yeah. if you know <laughs> at the end of the day i just hope that it works out well for both of them yeah. if they're together fine if they're not i, t- I think they'll also make good friends yeah. yes, yes i yes. think so too yes. so guys on to the very last one for today 
double eviction. I saw Yusuf leaving. I saw the two <laughs> Oh my god. No, I wasn't sure about Sasuke. I was a little confused about Sasuke. Yeah. I was sure Yusuf was leaving. Even though a lot of people said you never can tell. The Northerners are booting for him. I was like, he's not the only one from the north in that house. Please. Yeah. And it's kind of funny that two of them are from the north and the north. Same thing, yeah. <laughs> but um I don't it was dicey for me. I was thinking maybe Sasuke or Manuel. But I think oh, really? Um, Manuel okay. really got people's attention this, this week, week yeah. because of the tax that yeah. was given to Nicholas. Yeah. And Nicholas wasn't up, so her yeah. fans were able to vote, vote for him. him. Oh, okay. So, yeah, but um, the show is all, already almost over. over. So I don't think we'll miss any of them. Yeah, me too. I actually saw they were going to take three people out. Yeah, yeah. I did like, say. They have how many people left now? Nine. Nine people. Yeah. And you only have. One more Sunday before oh, finale, so, so I'm going to have to <laughs> six, six or four, four, seven. Or six, 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 six. It might be a quadruple eviction again, yeah, or yeah. Week eviction. possible. Like yeah. Bam Bam yeah. and it's Diane, you yeah. yeah. can just come. Be it is so bam. possible. Get out of my house. <laughs> It is so yeah, possible. By the end of the day, Sasuke, Sasuke is like the richest housemaid right now living there. Yes, She's up yes. to like eight million there yes, now. And that was so amazing. Yeah. That that's so good and for I her. Like, I like let me just chip in how um I like how she did not over push herself. I know we talked about it in like two episodes ago okay. on cross after cross. I mean oh. after J Paul. Okay, yeah. 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 I said, uh, you know, I was like, she will not be all over, and at some point, I was looking like she will be, but I like how she just, you know, focused on, focused on, on the, the game, game. and, she was and less of cross, obsessing over cross and all that. So she she left with her head high up, yeah. so it's good. Okay, I hope at the end of the day, I'm sure it will work out well for Sasuke. She's already talking about her lip gloss brand, yeah, you know, starting true. a retirement home. Yeah, that was so I beautiful. Like that specific her. And when Ibuka asked yeah. what's next for Sasuke, she didn't go about this. So beautiful, and so beautiful like to it. say. She just said lip gloss and, you know. Oh, yeah, as for Yusuf, he wants to go so back to acting. Or so, yeah. I think he said something about that. Oh, I can't <laughs> Okay, guys, so this is the very end of today's Vivian highlight. I hope you enjoyed it. Please